has left its echo. It was You have more questions? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it is not. You have more questions for me? We did nothing to you. Accuse us if you will, but it will not change the truth. Cutting one off from the Force. Such punishments are reserved for only a few. Although it was within our power, we did not inflict such a loss upon you. Your loss was a casualty of war. No more. Perhaps that is a question you should ask yourself. It is not something I could help you with, even if I wanted to. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. You have more questions for me? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Are you listening? I can't tell you more. The knowledge would not help you anyway. Do you have more questions for me? Force bonds? Yes. It is the bond that grows between master and student. Are you saying you have bonded with another? Such bonds normally grant strength to both, but not to such a degree. Are you certain? Perhaps it is merely what you believe. Still, your ability to form such connections, to influence others, was always a subject of discussion, even when you were a student here. Perhaps it is a punishment of a sort. But a bond that ties two lives together, such bonds do not seem natural to me. And with your loss of connection to the Force, it seems such a connection would be impossible. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but still you and your... connection. It is possible that returning to known space... Do you have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? You are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dentween. And from there we may decide what can be done. Do you have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. And will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. Now watch and learn. This form is a Taru. Because it is such an aggressive fighting style, you should only use it against single opponents. And don't try using this form amidst heavy fire. Nothing is more embarrassing for a Jedi than to be cut down by a stray blaster shot.
I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine. Thanks for your help with the mercenaries. I hope someday I'll be able to return the favor. You are always welcome here, Jedi. Yes. Very well. Those mercenaries were pushovers. Thanks for helping out the militia. Those mercenaries were pushovers. I heard you were responsible for driving the mercenaries off this rock. That's good. Dantooine was getting too crowded for my taste. I still got some Jedi junk left to sell. You buying? Oh, certainly. I hear you saved Joran. Joran says you saved him down there. Next time you should ask for a reward. Back again, huh? But it's nice to see you again, regardless. Uh, we barely then. Uh. 
Ah, the traveler has returned. So, I hope. I'm not a Jedi, so I couldn't say for certain. But I had a suspicion. All sales are final, I'm afraid. And you. There's some intense fighting. Is there? Must be hearing things, but for a moment. My life for your. I am prepared both in mind and body for your teachings. I understand now. Such a form will increase my skills and my use to you. I do not understand, but the choice is mine whether you permit it or not. I will answer what I can. My life for your...
Yes, General. Sorry, General. Something... I got tired of it. Kept dropping my hydro spanner. Figured I'd get a new one. I was only kidding. Actually, it was a souvenir from Malakor. I was lucky it was all I lost. But at least it gave me something to do, right? Everyone always said I was probably half the machine anyway. Something else I can help you with? Yes, General? Yes, is something that is hardly surprising. It is not time. That A force bond? What do you mean? I'm not sure I understand. No. I thought I had heard mention of such connections in some of the holocrons, but I do not possess them. They are part of the holocrons that were taken from the Enclave. I do not know. I do not know who has taken them. If we were to find them, perhaps I could help you find the answers you need. I know some of what you speak. It is said that when a Jedi and Padawan establish a close connection, that they can feel each other across distances and coordinate their movements in battle. The intensity of the connection varies. That bonding is said to also be something that manifests itself in such techniques as Bastila's battle meditation, the ability to touch the minds of others, to demoralize or inspire them. It is also said that moments of death or near death may also cause such bonds. The stronger one is in the Force, the stronger the connection. I've never heard of a bond being lethal. I suppose such a thing is possible. I had not truly believed Bastil as battle meditation until I had seen it in action. Thoughts. Images, perhaps, but not actual communication and words. A bond often causes a sensation to be passed along it. 
such as extreme fear and pain. Still, I have seen Jedi who have the ability to communicate with aliens and beasts. It is a rare thing. Perhaps telepathy is one such talent. I do not know. I do not know who has taken them. If we were to find them, perhaps I could help you find the answers you need. That is hard. The problem is my own, I fear. I harbor doubts concerning the Jedi. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun. Perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. I believe you are right. The students made their own choices, as much as the histories tell us. Perhaps I judge the masters unfairly, yet I still wonder why they did not rise to stop such threats earlier, or if they simply did not see them. That is a good point. Perhaps it is not the perception of a potential danger that is to blame. Then what is the answer? There may be none. Regardless, thank you for discussing this with me. Speaking of it eases the burden. Again, I thank you. It has been long since I was able to speak to one who knows the Order and its philosophies. Master Arka taught Ulik. Master Baz was the one who saw what Exar Kun could become, but he took no steps to stop him. Master Jar taught Malak, and Revan had many masters, including Jar, Kay, and Dorak. And towards the end of the training, Revan sought out many other teachers to learn certain techniques. It is said that she returned to her first master at the end of her training, in order to learn how she might best leave the Order. And such teachings and their teachers is why I harbor doubts. Why I wonder if something is missing from the Jedi Code. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War, due in no small part to her apprentice, Malak, who turned on her. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate, and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart, but it was only for a time. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. I suspect it was out of revenge. Revan had many masters. It is said that... Jedi... I do not recall who Revan's master was. Strange. Yes, it... Yes, it... That is hardly a surprise. I think you are right. It is time. I have watched you. You have become strong in the Force again. But that is not all. You have achieved a center in the chaos around us, and I have felt it. My master, the one intended for me, left to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. Now she has returned, and I ask her now if she will train me in the ways of the Force. The one who was to be my master was lost at Malachor V. So it ends. I want you to teach me the ways of the Force, to become a Jedi Knight. What I meant to be. Yes, is something that is hardly a surprise. You have grown strong in the Force. I can feel its touch upon you. Do not let the higher mysteries blind you to others. 
Turning away from that which tempts you or causes you fear is not strength. Facing it is. I have seen you display many acts of mercy, charity in our journey. Why? Even if it weakens those you help, even if it robs them of the strength needed to grow, you have been chased, hounded since our first meeting, and it has only made you stronger, more capable. Ah, then you have learnt nothing. From such small things, from such critical points, the universe and its masses may be moved. That is why you must be careful in all that you do, and in every choice you make. Aiding them gives you strength by taking on their challenges, but weakens them. If that is your choice, then use their dependency, feed upon it, until you have exhausted them. Then leave them. And I would view the ones you travel with much the same way. So you may think, but it will be best to strike first. Your allies are allies by circumstance, and they will not hesitate to do the same to you if you continue down your path. Do you know why those we meet display such weakness? As I said, their lives are static, untested. It is only through interaction, through decision and choice, through confrontation, physical or mental, that the force can grow within you. You have seen it. You have felt it within you as you have traveled with me. The growing anger, the rage, and the power it brings. Yet the power does not build without such struggle. Through small cruelties, greater ones are born. Ask. Yes? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. And through it, your power is enhanced. Most interesting. Your crystal does not perfectly reflect your current self. Remove it from your lightsaber, then ask me about it again. Is there something else you wished? Ignorance. And perhaps they do not remember or care. It is of no consequence to me or to them. Do not let them discover what makes you what you are before you do, or the consequences for the galaxy will be terrible. Because you learned to live without the Force, and that is something that the galaxy is not ready to accept. Yes? That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. Most interesting. Is there some... Yes, have you come? That crystal is bonded to you. Let me focus on the crystal for a moment. There, now it is fully in tune with you again. Is there something else you wished?
diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no, I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh, how I hate that term. Answer. No, Master. <laughs> ah, I said it again. Answer. Yes, Master. Answer. Well, I am not certain I like the idea of a master who feels reservations at having an assassination droid at their disposal. In fact, it brings with it a certain sense of dread that you may actually not use me to my full capabilities. Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Query. Is there someone that you need killed, Master? Statement. Excellent. No doubt one of your allies has turned on. I certainly hope it is not the T3 unit. Destroying him would provide little challenge. It would be demeaning. Query, is there someone that you need kill? Something up? All right. T3, there's not much time. 
Now, I've seen her start to turn as we near the end, but there's still a chance to save her. Now, if I fail, I need you to do whatever you can to protect her. Now, I'm convinced that whatever the Jedi Council did, there's still some humanity left in her. There has to be. Do what you can, T3. And if I don't make it back, then I need you to go find help. Other Jedi, the Republic, anyone you think can help. If you don't, we may lose her and the galaxy. here you felt it did you not the time to hide your presence is coming to a close and you will need to increase your training you are ready your training must increase and there are higher mysteries you must learn but only you must know the path you will take I cannot choose it for you is it battle that stirs you to meet an enemy blade upon blade such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors the weapon masters or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest. Yes. That crystal is bonded to you. Through you, it acquires its character and strength. Should your power increase or your resolve change, is there something else you...
Yes. That crystal is bonded to you. Should your power increase or your resolve change? Is there something? Hey, General. You look like you've been standing too close to one of my shield generators. Whoa. Claws out today, aren't they? Seriously, you don't look that way from spending extra time in the fresher. I've seen other Jedi, not many but a few, who look like that. And I feel a little strange around you. A little more in control, calm. Was there something you wanted me? Sorry, General. So yes, General? There is something I have observed. And now I feel I must say it. I have found your presence to be... inspiring. I understand now why others followed you to war. Perhaps that is what leadership is, in any event. It has been some time since I traveled with a Jedi. I fear the stories that were spoken of you have misrepresented you. And if I have the opportunity, I shall reverse them whenever they arise. Very well. Yes? That crystal is bonded to you. Should your power increase or is there some...
Greetings and good day. May I be over any further? Dantooine is a rural world. Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, the famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave, Zeron strongly urges salvagers to avoid. My apologies. I have no recollection of the Sith invasion topic. Error. Memory overflow. Resetting. May I be over any further service to you? Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level 7 impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal servos misaligned by 32 degrees. Memory storage overflow. Memory unit is approximately 56 months overdue for maintenance. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Is there something I can do to serve you? My memory banks recognize you as a Jedi. You are among many Jedi who were trained in the Academy here at the Enclave, prior to its destruction during the Sith invasion. 
You are on the register as one of the Jedi who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. My memory has no record of your return before now. You had no direct interaction with this droid. However, I had one instance of a conversation between Masters Vruk and Vandar regarding you. Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught her in a heated argument with my Padawan. Her master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Vruk, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see her do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike her intensely. True. An average student of the Force, but with a unique strength, is a natural leader. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi. Lust for power. Will lead to the dark side. Furthermore, it... Recording degraded. End playback. May I be of any further service to you? If you will excuse me. I heard you. I still got some. Oh, sir. Yatuka, who one Rika cho Yatuka, who one Rika cho team, Cabadumpa, more windy do cho Yatuka, who one Rika cho team, one name, our Rata Waka Yatuka, who one Rika Bram Tabanin so Yatuka, who one Rika cho Bram Tabanin. Kavanata Kal Kavadumpa, Mo Wendido Chokeremi no Kavanata Kalu Kavanami Donkey Grato Yota Park Mito, I best Nick Satochi
Yatuka, who are one. Yatuka. Soon you shall know. What do you mean, Pazak? What, again? This is Ronto, Scrag. What house rule says I have to go first? Yeah, well, I'm still not convinced you aren't cheating. Warning. If you draw another plus minus one card, I will enact assassination protocols. This droid is cleaning me out. Pazak. Well, I'm playing. It's cheating. Whatever, cheater. Sure, but I don't have any more credits to bet, so it's Republic Senate rules. That's where we waste a lot of time trading cards and trying to win. It's like stalemate. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your... head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, a gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe you've been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep hid. Is there someone that you need killed, Master? Do you need a hand? No, I don't. Go back to your training. I'll call you if I need someone useless. Is there some problem? I was only offering to help. Problem? No, no problem. Just wondering how long you're planning to stick around. For as long as she needs me, of course. How heroic of you. Well, she doesn't need you. In fact, we were doing just fine until you showed up. Actually, there are times when it seems you could use some... Always with the details, aren't you? You can't fool me. You have some agenda. Spying on her. Always keeping your eye on her. No, no, I don't. I... 
Well, I simply admire her. She has many qualities worthy of respect, and a strength that matches her beauty. Surely you've noticed. Yeah, and I noticed first. Get it? So cut it out. And another thing, stop being all noble around her in your big hero way. She sees right through your little act. She likes honest guys, not guys who run around being unselfish and heroic all the time. I thought she was the hero. Jedi. Jedi. Betrayal. All thoughts of me will slide from your vision, from your mind, like water. You know who I am, but you will be unable to voice it, to remember it. What does a Jedi see? Only what I allow them to see. At last, you understand, tiny Jedi. You? Who are you? What are you doing on this sh- Enough. What did you see in the web of worlds that have died? What did you see when you saw it through the Force? I see the death of the galaxy. Of life. At first, I thought it was just conquest. But it's more terrible than that. It's an echo, spreading outwards, killing everything. It's not possible. You are a wasted pawn of the Republic, young one. You could have been so much more, even with your wide-eyed innocence, your naive love for others. Now you understand the magnitude of what is being done. I know you. Not even the markings of the dark side can hide it. Why have you done this? I? Do you think I seek the death of all living things? There is no victory in such things. I do not want to win our war like this, little Jedi. When I win, I wish it to be because I was right, my teachings true. How long have you been here, among us? You know the truth. I have always been here, watching and listening to the echo you have found. You know its source and what must be done. I will not let you hurt her. Little Jedi, you cannot stop me. But you will forget this. Your mind is worse than the others, so open, so trusting. Your feelings for her are your weakness. Yet I will gift you with this. You will remember what you have discovered when the time is correct. Know that you have seen what formerly only I knew. Now we shall see if you have the strength to stop what comes. Machines. Her passion for such things defies me. It might be helpful if I made some changes to my remote's maintenance laser to do spot repairs. Analysis. Such an improvement would be beneficial to maintaining optimal damage output in combat situations. Suggestion. Master, your technician should be put on this task right away. Thank you. 
There. You should be able to do some quick fixes. You won't be able to perform serious repairs, but you should be able to patch up any broken droids. I don't understand why you won't let me take a look. Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags such as yourself. I'm not eager to submit to this treatment now or in the future. Unskilled meatbag? I'll show you unskilled. Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an unskilled meatbag, as incapable of performing rudimentary repairs as holding a hydro spanner. It is only that I am quite particular with my repairs. Perhaps, when I am more confident in your abilities, I will allow you to examine my internal components. Something up? All right. All right, but... Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of...
So you've returned. While I was disturbed that you chose to defy our orders and obtain transport off Citadel Station, the matter has since been closed. It was the decision of Republic authorities that your testimony would no longer be necessary, unless you'd be allowed to go. But as we discovered, you had already left. Why does the Republic do anything? My opinion, they probably performed their independent investigation and figured it wasn't your fault. Yeah, yeah. And if there's nothing else, I've got a job to do. What is it? I see. And where and when did you kill them? I see. Well, you certainly earned the bounty on those two dangerous... Here it is. I think you'll find the amount more than adequate. Bahram. Bahram.
Something up? All right. Well, this is Onderon. Looks like there's a long line to get into the Isis starport. Something feels wrong here. A great disturbance here in orbit, and again on the planets below. I guess this blockade is a symptom of larger problems on Onderon. Looks like we're about to find out. I'm receiving a message from some Colonel Tobin, patching it through. The Ebon Hawk. I was told to expect your arrival. I don't know your business on Onderon, but it ends here. Back, or I can outrun them and hide us on the jungle moon nearby. It's your call. to see us. But no, if it isn't weapons pointed at our heads, it's someone trying to blast us out of the sky. I remember the days when welcoming committee used to mean something, without being followed by blaster bolts. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Since they were so eager to use our hull for target practice, I doubt they're just gonna forget us. Well, I don't like it. Onderon is about as far from the core as you can get and still be in the Republic. But even out here, the locals have heard of us. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like something has cleared away the jungle in a few spots around here. It's taken a little damage, nothing too serious. I'm shutting down all unnecessary systems until we make repairs. It'll keep us from being a target. Well, the space battle's still going on overhead. Well, I don't like it. We're lucky I was able to find this place to land. Looks like one of the moons of Onderon. Not sure which one. It's mostly jungle and mountain. I did pick up the remains of an old outpost near here. Maybe that's why there's all these clearings around. Maybe they were once settlements. There were no settlements here. Those clearings were most likely once craters or crash sites. Crash sites? This is Duxon, where the Mandalorians began their crusade against the Republic. The remains of whatever outposts you detected here are military ones. We should be careful. This is where the Mandalorian War started? This doesn't look like much of a battlefield. Much is buried here, and there is much that should remain buried. Until the ship is repaired, we're not going anywhere. Unless you can find another route to Onderon, we should sit tight. There may be a means to get to Onderon by another route. The Force has guided us here for a reason. We should explore our surroundings. There is... Something here. Something? Oh, there's something here, all right. Predators. Not small flit darters, but big, mean, nasty predators. Nevertheless, we should explore our surroundings. And that nearby outpost would be as good a place as any to begin. 
Well, if you go, be careful. No telling what other ships were forced down in the battle. I have a feeling the ship will not be repaired until our business here is concluded. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I understand. What's so important about this place? This is where the Mandalorian Wars began. She fought here once, and there are things here she must see. She fought here? Why didn't she say anything? Do you speak of all your battles? Or are there some you wish to forget?
Focus. Donos Emeragith, Wanara Gorachi Drumka Sa Inchobin Sasha. Donos Emeragith, Wanara Gorachi Drumka Sa Inchobin Sasha. Donos Emeragith, Wanara Gorachi Drumka Sa Inchobin Sasha. Loka Kamara Nendoso Ra. Febko Emeream Gawata Situ Insula Rakara Kachata. Loka Kamara Nendoso Ran with no Chabi. The Ranamo Simu and Nasarans. Kramer Sunkun Ratungala. My Bayou. <laughs>
You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Unnecessary observation. Annoying recitation. Recitation and bring. This shall not stop us from long. Systems failing, master. Fallen. A weak ah, Systems failing. Thing, master. Fallen. You are no- Stop. That is not the skeletal remnant of a war long past. That is a recent kill. It appears that Duxon isn't as abandoned as we would be led to believe. I cannot say for certain. What I do know is our path came here for a reason. But let us press forward. You may find the answers you seek. Soon you shall know. <laughs> you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? We claimed this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? We expected as much. You've been the Duxon by choice. We have orders to escort you to our camp. Our leader wants to speak to you. So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. 
The beasts also help us keep our edge. Covert camps are not meant to attract attention. Because we conquered them, the people of Onderon still hold a grudge against the Mandalorians. So we keep our presence here a secret. Mandalorians have a rapport with the... So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful, or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip the switch. We want to keep a low profile, so we've recalled all our patrols in the jungle. Setting off some high explosives isn't a textbook example of subtlety. You asked if there was anything you could do, and I told you. Nothing in this jungle is as simple as it seems, though. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. energy shields. Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. The greatest honor for a Mandalorian is to distinguish themselves in battle. But as age comes upon us, some are forced to find honor in other pursuits. They are sisters, freighter pilots, technicians, or quartermasters. There's honor there, but it's nothing compared to the heat of battle. For someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me, yet I'm really 
obligated to. It's bad enough I have to stand here and pass out supplies while the others go on patrol. The only advice I'll give you is, when you're in the jungle, shoot anything that moves. You are... Ship. We've called off our patrols outside the camp. We usually find some entertainment in clearing out the worst of the beasts. But without our patrols, some of the larger beasts may be around. None of us will be around to bail you out of trouble. You've been warned. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. If you see one, stay out of its way. If you head out... It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. All right, stand back. Let's see if that... Sith's blood! Fixing anything in this rot-infested place is an uphill battle. This jungle attacks anything made by man. Restoring the generators and computer systems is no easy task. I'll take whatever help I can get. I'm trying to get the relay dish operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space battle may have attracted unwanted attention. And our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there. And the relay maintenance structure's behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ate it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance. But if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. They're vermin. No challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Just gut every cannock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again.
This is our battle circle. You should leave us, even if the sergeant lets you fight with us. You will never truly be one of us. So, the Jedi comes to grace. The battle circle is reserved only for real warriors. Your Jedi ways won't help you here. For today, I have the honor of commanding the battle circle. I decide who fights who and make sure all the rules are followed. The battle circle is only a small part of our training regiment. A full Mandalorian warrior is a master of many fighting techniques. And here, all of them are tested. If you were to compete, you would have to do so on our terms. Jedi rely too much on their vaunted powers. If you want to try and fight us on our terms, that can be arranged. You are new here, so you will fight Davro. He is young and has not been able to prove himself in battle. Davro, what are your terms? No weapons, no Jedi tricks, and no items. Just fist and foot. A true test of strength. Put your weapon away, Jedi. Don't step out of the circle and pull any death blow. No one dies in the battle circle. Step into the battle circle. Now you will experience a true fight. Violated the rules of the battle circle. You used an item. You must follow all the terms of combat if you fight again. Here to watch if you are no weapon. Put step. between Jedi and Davril is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. A challenger has expressed interest in fighting you. Here to watch a fight? After defeating Davril, you have gained some small honor. There is a challenger for you. He is Kex, the quartermaster. Since he is the challenger, you get to choose the terms. As quartermaster, he has little opportunity for any glory in training. He isn't as skilled as Davril. I will send a runner to Kex. Prepare yourself for your fight, Jedi. Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. Here to watch a fight or to participate. You choose to fight again. Now face a real Mandalorian warrior. Tagren, what are your terms? Just fist and foot like your fight with Davril. Nothing else. Tagren chooses to fight hand to hand. The match between Jedi and Tagren is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. The only Mandalorians left for you to fight are our champions. No one can fight a champion until they have proven themselves worth, oh, and it must be real proof. The kind you gain fighting foes to the death, and a champion must observe and deem your actions worthy. Ah! There are two champions in the camp, Braylor 